Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 7, JavaScript Object Property Descriptor, brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the Object Property Descriptor in JavaScript. In JavaScript, each property of an object has property descriptor, which describes the nature of a property. So, if you wish to see the description of a property, then how can I achieve that? We can achieve that with the help of get own property descriptor method present in the object. So here comes the syntax. The syntax is object dot get own property descriptor. To that, I'm passing the parameter object as well as the property name. So without wasting much time, let me show you like how to see the description of a property. Here comes the function employee and it's having three properties name, gender and allow okay and this allow is a function expression in the 12th line I'm creating an object of this function employee using the new keyword and in 14, 15 and 16th lines what I'm trying to do is since uh, till now we have seen the outputs in the alert function in the alert window or we have written it on the document dot write from, from this example I'm going to show you like how to see the output in the developer tool or in the console window that is console dot log method which um, helps, out, helps out okay and here you can observe to the console.log okay I am passing object dot get on property descriptor and to that method I have to pass two parameters one is employee the other parameter is the property name okay once I do that this get on property descriptor method it's going to give me the description of my property respective property present here okay name gender and allow now let me show you a demo of this it's very simple so before what I need to do is I need to create a function so I'll create a function function name is demo or let me call it as employee so I'll create properties name and the value attached to it is Sam and I need I need to make use of I need to create another two properties one is name and this let me take the same properties present here gender and Sam's gender is male function this hello property is a, it's a function expression so what I'll do is I'll just pass a message called this is advanced JavaScript tutorial okay now I need to create an object of the employee now I'll make use of the console and the log method to that what I'll do is I'll pass this object and I'm fetching the get own property descriptor method get own property descriptor to this get own property descriptor method I have to pass two parameters one is the object name my object name is employee and the other thing I have to pass is the property name and the property name is name itself okay and I do control s now I have to navigate to the folder where I have saved this page to see the output and here comes my HTML page when I double click on that it pushes that page to the browser and now we have to see the output in the developer tool so how do I navigate there you can you should click on this three dots then this more tools then click on the developer tools okay once I do that I'll get a window here okay you can observe very cl clearly and this shows your DOM element and this is your console okay here we are going to see the output that's what I specified here we'll get the output in the console window so here is my console so when I expand this object okay I, ref I repeat when I expand this object okay this get own property descriptor method is returning me four attributes okay what are the attributes value writable enumerable and configurable okay what is the value present in the property called name it's Sam 
so it is returning that and after that these three property three attributes they are new to us let us understand them very clearly one is writable and the value is true enumerable the value is true and configurable the value is true in the sense okay when i make use of this get on property descriptor method and to that method i am passing the object as well as the property name so this get on property descriptor method it's giving me four attributes which describe about the attribute name so first let us understand okay these property these attributes writable enumerable and configurable the value attribute is very simple it just returns the value and these things are very important so to understand these attributes let me jump into presentation and let me show you there the value it contains the actual value of a property so here the value contains sam and that sam is the actual value of a property name okay and the second attribute is writable indicates that whether a property is writable or read only in the sense you can observe very clearly here i'm having a property called name okay so in the get descriptor prop get own property descriptor method we are getting an attribute called writable and the value attached to it is true in the sense i can i can edit the value of name property any time in my program okay because the writable is set to true if i set the value of writable to false i can't the edit i can't edit the value of the property name anywhere in my program okay that's the meaning of that sentence that attribute okay and the second third one is enumerable it indicates whether a property would show up during the enumeration using for in loop or object dot keys method in the sense in the last session we saw suppose i'm having a function employee here and i'm having properties okay suppose if i wish to get the list of all properties present inside the function so we made use of object dot keys method to do that work suppose if i want to restrict the end user to see all the list of properties how can i achieve that i can achieve that by setting the value of the attribute enumerable to false once i set the value of enumerable uh, to false okay one can't access the list of properties present inside the function when he may make use of object dot keys method that's the meaning of this enumerable attribute and the value if i set it false no one can fetch the list of properties present in the function okay and it's configurable set the value set to true don't need to worry if you don't understand about these attributes and the description anyhow in the coming sessions we are going to learn about these attributes in depth as of now in this session you have to understand like what is this get on property descriptor is going to return you it's going to return you four attributes one is value enumerable writable and configurable okay this is what you have to remember in this session okay and finally we saw a demo of it okay and that's for the day thank you for listening please subscribe to our youtube channel ankpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you